Hi guys, today we have been presented a challenge where we are trying to find an appropriate gala dress for one of our American Girl dolls. So I thought it would be fun to try on some dresses that might work and be potential dresses for the, the gala challenge. Plus, I think they'll be great just for Christmas dresses because I've been working on getting the collection dressed for Christmas. Here's our three beautiful models. We have Mary Ellen, Nellie, and number 56, Karina. And it is high time that we get them changed since they are still in their summer shorts and crop tops, right? So with that being said, let's get to it. I have two outfits from Etsy and then I have one outfit that is kind of a mix and match that I'm putting together from things that I have purchased. This dress I got, I think, I think this one was from a purge or it was eBay. I'm not 100% sure. And we haven't tried it on yet, but it does, it has the underskirting, but it does look a little bit wide. So I'm not sure how it will fit. We may have to switch to a different red dress, but isn't it pretty? To go underneath it, I purchased American Girl when they had their sale. I got a Mary Ellen's crinoline, which I picked up before it was all gone. And so I'm thinking that it will go nicely underneath this dress to kind of give it some extra body. And so here it is. And I'm anxious to see. Now, of course, I think this is going to be shorter than the actual dress, but we'll see if it works, okay? So, we've got the dress, we've got the crinoline, and then I got this in a thrift haul, and it is a Build-A-Bear Santa hat, but I'm hoping that it will all come together. So, let's get it tried on first. Well, what do you guys think of this? It actually turned out better than I thought, but what I had to do is it was big like I thought it might be. So see the little belt that I added? Actually though, it's a hack. That's not really a belt, but it sure works like one. What it is, is a headband that I just wrapped around her waist twice like that. And so it kind of cinched it in. Otherwise it kind of looked, I don't know, it kind of looks baggy on her. So, but I think it looks so pretty now. And with the crinoline underneath, so it had its own little one and then the added one from Mary Ellen's collection is just perfect. I put on these little gold shoes with it and take a look at this Build-A-Bear hat. It's big enough on her, but not too big. It's big enough to hide the ear holes that are actually in it, but not too big that it actually doesn't fit. There is an option for our gala outfit. So now I have this package that I got off of Etsy. It is from Dear Dolly Dress Up. I know you guys, I just have been finding the cutest things from her. And when she listed these in her store, I was like, oh my goodness, how can I resist? So here we go. You guys, look at this. She is so, so sweet. She sent me a note and she included a dress, the extra dress for us. Alyssa, thank you so, so much. If you're watching this, what a wonderful, wonderful surprise. I'm just, oh, okay, so. <laughs> We will be trying on a fourth dress for sure. But here is the first one. Let me get it out. Oh, look at this, you guys. Isn't this beautiful? My goodness. Look at the rosettes. Okay. And then, oh, look at the tool underneath to serve as its own crinoline and these puffy sleeves and then look 
Look at the headband. So I think we're going to put this one on Karina. So let's get it on her. Oh, you guys, take a look at how good Karina looks. Isn't this the prettiest dress? So here is the headband. Look at the rhinestone in the center. I mean, it is so beautiful with all of its sparkle. It looks so, so good on her. And look at the bodice and the little rosettes down here that mirror the rosette that she's wearing in her hair. And then the shimmer and shine of that skirt. And the underlayment, look how nicely it pulls out the dress and gives it just the right amount of poof for her. And then I put the American Girl shoes with it because it seems so fitting with the blue and the sparkle that is on them. I think she looks so sweet. It is so pretty in person. I hope that you guys are able to see how pretty this really is. And then take a look here at the back even. She's beautiful from behind too. Do you see the stars? I guess it'd be stars and I just look how pretty this is. Even from the backside. This dress is definitely gala worthy. I, don't you think, I mean, I think it would be perfect for a doll gala. Okay, so now let's take a look at the next one. Look at this one, you guys. I love this green. So many times I think green gets overlooked and I think this satin is so pretty with the lace on the sleeves. Let's get this on Mary Ellen. Look at sweet Mary Ellen. Look how elegant this dress is. I love it. And of course, Mary Ellen looks exquisite in green. Don't you think? Look at the sleeves on this and the little bow. I love the flounce that's at the end of these sleeves. This lace is so, so pretty. It's kind of, a, I wouldn't you say it's an empire style bodice and then the three rosettes and then of course the full skirt. It has such a beautiful drape to it. I love her in this. And then I paired it with these little classic boots that have the historical vibe because I think the dress itself has such an historical vibe. Isn't it so, so pretty? And now, thanks to Alyssa and our Dear Dolly Dress Up, we have a one more Christmas dress to help get our dolls all ready for the holiday season. Take a look at this. I love it, love it, love it, love it so, so much. So we've got the lace at the bottom and we've got the, ri the ribbon that goes here and comes to a bow. We've got the little buttons. Let's see which lucky doll gets to try this. Well, this is perfect for Krissa. I was looking for just the right dress for her and look at what this does for her. Take a look at the detailing even in the skirt. Each panel is sewn together to give it the neat contrasting stripes that go all the way around with those Santas and then the red material with the stars. And then look at the pretty pretty lace down here at the bottom and then I paired it with some cream shoes which I believe are Rebecca's. Maybe, the, I'm pretty sure. Not 100%, but I think. <laughs> so anyway, and then look here at the bow, at the waistline, the buttons. Oh, such nice, nice craftsmanship. I absolutely love her in this. She is perfectly ready for Christmas. And thanks so much, Alyssa. Again, I can't thank you enough for sending that to us as a Christmas surprise. 
What a neat, neat deal. So you guys, now that you see them all, how am I ever going to choose which is going to be the Gala gown? Well, I've definitely got some thinking to do. Thanks for joining me today in getting a few more of our dolls all ready for Christmas. I have some more fun things to share with you. I just hope that I can get all the videos done. I've been so busy with several challenges with the dolls in other groups and so it has kept me really super, super busy. Plus we are in the process of remodeling a home and that takes up a lot of time too. So thank you so much for watching and if you love getting the dolls dressed for special occasions, make sure to please give us a great big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Well, that's our collection for now. Until next time, I'll be waiting for you in the next video. Bye.